we could uh, simplify our equation a little bit before we solve. Good. Okay, good. Two times one twenty is two forty. It's not clear. Let's take, a, take our time and see what went wrong. Okay, yeah. The problem is you have two things in the denominator. Anytime you have two things in the denominator, you've got to put parentheses around there. That looks better. All right, but it, it's really easy to make that mistake here. So let's see uh, maybe a better way to proceed. So uh, would you agree with this equation? Yes. All right, well, then why don't we just multiply these two fractions? On the denominator, we would get 2 times 1.34. Then we don't have to carry so many fractions around. So 2 times 1.34 would be 2.68. And now we have a simple calculation, 240 times 2.68. You got 643.2? Correct. And what would be the units on that? Because we put in nanometers. Since we put in nanometers, we know we'll get out nanometers. All right, now actually I understand uh, the problem. So the one thing that was weird here is they didn't tell you what to use for m. That is, how do we know to use 0 and not 1 or 2 or 3? Uh, because they didn't ask you for the longest wavelength. Well, here's how. Do you know what the spectrum of visible light is? We know the spectrum of visible light goes from violet to red. Do you happen to know what that spectrum is? Um, how many nanometers that is? Um, is it from where to where? I can remind you. So that sounds good. But I don't remember what the top. 400 to 700, approximately. Approximately 400 to 700. Red is the longest wavelength. This is, these are good things. These are actually worth memorizing. I might be actually tested on that. You might be expected to have that basic uh, knowledge. Violet is around 400, and red is around 700. Violet is the longest uh, spectrum of light. So, or, or red is. Yeah, that's right. I misspoke. Good. So red is the longest spectrum uh, wavelength of light in the visible spectrum. So would we actually be able to perceive this as a color? Uh, yeah, actually, the answer is yes. It definitely is firmly within the spectrum. So the answer is yes. Anything between 400 and 700, you can definitely perceive. On the other hand, let's see what happens if we plug in m equals 1. So if we plug in m equals 1, we would get 2 times 120 equals 1 plus 1 half times lambda. Do you see where I got this equation from? I just plugged in m equals 1. OK, so we can go through this together. 2 times 120 would be 240. On the right-hand side here, we just have uh, 1.5 times lambda over 1.34. And again, the simplest thing is to do the calculation here. This is 1.5 divided by 1.34. And for that, I got 1.12, approximately. That sound OK? OK. Uh, and then we can cross multiply. We went out of the spectrum. That's right. So this is what they were going for in the problem. So for full credit, you should really do this as well to show this is the only color that you would see at this point. Uh, because anything else is going to take us even further from the spectrum. Anything else is going to take us even further. So the question was asking, in your book, the question was, um, what wavelength is most strongly uh, reflected uh, there? All right, well, definitely the color. There's only going to be one color reflected, which is this one. No other color. This will be reflected, but no one can see it. OK. okay. This is, uh, by the way, we would call this in the ultraviolet. Or maybe it's even beyond the ultraviolet. But I think this is the ultraviolet here, because it's beyond the violet. 
Okay, all right, so that's a very typical type of uh, question. So what were the things that gave us difficulty? Well, first of all, we have to come up with the equation. So here's our bright spot equation. Uh, we know we have to add this extra one half um, wavelength difference to cancel out the inversion. Uh, and we know that we have to take into account that the wavelength is actually different inside the medium. And we'll just memorize this formula, although we showed how to find it. It got decreased by a factor of n. That means that there's many different possible wavelengths. So we tried a couple different m's to find which wavelength would be visible uh, in this case. And then we had a couple algebra uh, issues that came up uh, as we went through that. Okay. Any questions? Thank you.